Don Machi is back with season five, and season four was one roller coaster of a story. Truly the most despair I've ever felt, going down to the lowest floors that we've ever been to, encountering these insane threats that we were never exposed to, learning more about the dungeon mechanics of that guy intentionally blowing it up, and then having this like whole self-restoration immune system come into effect, and creating this being known as the Juggernaut, right? Shit went crazy. And then the intimate moments that we shared with Ryu, fantastic. Now, here's some trivia, lore's for this channel. Season 2, Season 3, and Season 1 does not exist on this channel, because we actually kind of covered starting from Season 2 my old channel, Season 2 is when the copyright strikes happened and I had to take the nuclear option, so it is what it is. There's a lot of Danmachi knowledge that is kind of missing in my head. I haven't been watching this show as comprehensively as a show like ReZero, so, you know, the reactions might suffer. But I'll try my best. Let's begin today's reaction. Oh? Bed of flowers. Seer? Is she always that stacked? Other girl, that's right. I know that we're not cheating on Ryu, but like, bro, after season 4, I completely forgot about who Ice even was. I'm like, Ryu and Bell, this is the shit. Honestly, Ryu had her chance. The ending of the season was literally Bell rising up Ryu, they kind of, kind of go on a date, then Ryu getting very, just like, gushed, and then she ran away. She pretty much fumbled it, right? So we can't really blame Seer for like having her opportunity because Damachi, it seems like every new season is a focus on a new girl, right? Season 1 was kind of like Hestia, but immediately into Ice and the other girl. Season 2 was Haruhime stuff, right? Season 3 was Wine. Season 4, Ryu. And now, <laughs> Seer is up. It's her chance. She's been watching the entire time, man. <laughs> and then, <laughs> season 6. Season 7, all the bar- and, and, uh, the, the, the head mom, right? The, uh, head ma'am that leads the bar, she's gonna have her own season 2. The super beefy woman, you know? Mm. She packs him as lunch? How the hell do you fall in love with the dude that you literally have not interacted really much other than seeing other girls just fawn around him and you pack his lunch? What scenes have they really shared together back in the previous seasons? Remember, my Danmachi knowledge is little to none. I should do a rewatch to really freshen up, but I don't really remember a, a reason for you to fall for him. Other than her maybe glazing like the heroics of... What's his nickname now? It's Rabbit's Foot? Can I be freed from the shackles of goddess? What does that imply? Goddesshood. But you're a random tavern girl for all I know. But this is this is association with you and Freya. And they're they have similar hair color as well. Are they siblings? Is she a daughter? I thought maybe that Seer was like Freya as like a quote unquote human in disguise to kind of interact freely in the town. I don't know. Who are you? <laughs> Nice. <gasps> She's fine level 2. You. All I remember from her is that she is always placed into an unfortunate role of being the voice of reason. Therefore, she goes against the heroic ideals and the different plans last season. And she always kind of was like the bad guy, right? Everyone would come up with a plan and she would be like, no, that's fucking stupid. We shouldn't do that. But then, you know, it's like peer pressure happens and she goes with it. I feel bad for this girl. Only thing other I remember... And like season one, like I didn't even react to season one. I watched this shit such a long time ago. Like again, my Danmachi knowledge is very limited, but she was like, she had like a really bad god or goddess, right? And there was like this whole drug addiction thing going on. And like we freed her from that, right? Yeah, I, I think something like that. And she's basically like a strategist. Lily is her name, right? She's like a strategist. She goes around coordinating different groups. She made some great decisions last season. I think I remember. <laughs> No longer level one. Level two. Level two. Yeah, it's Lily's time, bro. Era of Lily, I'm sorry, girl. Era of Lily was in season one. This season is Era of Seer and Freya. I'm sorry. How do he make Yo, where's Aisha at? I know that she's not really our family, but... Uh, shut the fuck up. You, you can't do what Haruhime can do. You train? 
the fuck are you gonna train her, bro? She got that AOE crazy buff that makes people like, isn't it like plus one or plus two levels, right? Like AOE, you just get like a flat level boost. Like that's fucking crazy. You can't do shit, Lily. This is what I'm talking about. Lily just gets put into these unfortunate situations where everyone else is having fun, everyone's chilling, she starts being a little like mean, and now she gets corrected. Like, what does the author have against this girl? It makes people not want to like her. <laughs> Like, yeah, this guy is like magic swordsman guy, the blacksmith dude. His special thing was he needed like a workshop to make these weapons, right? But down in the lower floors, what happens? It's basically his special thing was like I can craft anywhere. And then he created that super OP magic sword, right? I, I think something like that. And this girl, she is like suicide bomber not really she's always like risking her life and doing the craziest shit i forget the exact spell but it was some sort of like gravity based spell right that pulled down that hydra monster thing that the floor boss right something like that Six yeah this aisha gigachad aisha is actually such a great character i love her and her interactions with haruhime and she puts in work <laughs> Oh. Yeah, he's in for content. Look at her tail, bro. How do he <laughs> mm. Which is actually true. Because, like, there's a problem with Bell and unlocking his true potential. I remember in season four where someone said, like, he's leveling so fast, within this short period of time, he's not able to completely, like, understand what is the limit of his powers in those level frames. So he's always leveling up fast, but there's this backlog of full potential that he's not properly utilizing, right? Look at all these gods and goddesses. Cat puns. Bro, she was so peaked, the cat girl squad. Meowculus. Campanian. <laughs> yeah, this. I hope she has her fucking arc with Bell. Dude, imagine she actually loves Bell too. She has her own fucking season. <laughs> Level three. I ain't gonna lie, I don't remember which one is Daphne or Cassandra. I think Daphne's in the left and Cassandra's right, I forget. But this girl is all about premonition, prophecy, and they're basically ex-members of the arc that happened in season two where it was like the god of war right yeah that arc and they're kind of like defects of that because we just destroyed them cassandra is the prophet okay cassandra right the daphne on the left i don't really remember what daphne is all about i don't cassandra is the prophet though but daphne forget <laughs> What is it? Goddess Festival. Oh, what is that gonna be? Lady Demeter. Harvest? Okay. What be harvest? The hell? <laughs> Based Aisha? <laughs> that's, that, that's the axe guy, right? Yeah, I remember him. So, like, the four main goddesses who represent fertility. There's Demeter? Is Freya involved? And what about the girl that Freya sla slapped at the end of the Haruhime arc in season two? And that, like, uh, Aphrodite, right? She basically just died. Okay. Three days in the shrine. A lot. Bro, where is Ryu right now? I guess she didn't even show up because she didn't want the awkward interaction with Belle. Bro, we were literally skin-to-skin -skin contact. I'm not even lying. Like, the, like we were sharing body heat. 
Ryu? She's ignoring. Ryu, if you're gonna do this, like, I can't get upset at Zero for taking your man. Like, you are literally avoiding your man. Like, don't blame Seer if you missed your opportunity. Ryu, we'll make eye contact. Okay. Okay. She probably blushing. Hey, look at the scenes, bro. Oh my god. And not only that, of course, these scenes are super intimate. I remember a different scene where basically we're in a fight against the juggernaut again, but we're like kind of closed into this narrow space within like the walls to escape. And I, there was like a moment where Ryu was like, you know what, if we die here, I'm like fine with it because I'm with him. Like that's some like, <laughs> that is so beyond intimate. And now because she's too shy, Sierra's going to make the move. <laughs> Okay, Kakuro. I love her so much. Take out that trash. Yeah, Doki Doki. You're being unreasonable. She's smitten with love. Oh my god. I just referred to him by his first name in my own monologue. I'm such a whore. <laughs> this Damachi always is funny. Holy shit. I, I get, it's been a while. It's been a while and season four was just all dread and gloom. There was little to no slice of life. So I forgot that bell moment when she screams bell here. Holy shit. Listen. <laughs> Sir, go save Bell from Ryu. <laughs> I don't feel bad that this is gonna be Sir's arc now. <laughs> she literally suplexed him. I don't know what the hell happened. Look at the fucking damage on the pavement ground. Very violent sin today. Yeah, I see that. Yes, you made me fall in love with you. Just me. I'm my own head. Why is that? And Bell is so dense that he thinks that this is like an insult, right? Bro, she is gushing all over you. And like, she can't look at you because you rizzed her up so much. But poor Belle. Innocent, sweet little Belle never knows. Yeah, then let's take more time. That's right, her name. Mamma Mia. Mia Kasai. <laughs> Mamma Mia. I still want her to have her own season with them. Like an OVA, bro. Give me an OVA. So, yeah, but. What are you doing getting cooked right now? Go, go get away. You don't want to hear this. No. You're a little late. Oh, no. Poor girl. Yes. Yo. おはようございます。シル。はい、好き。ええ、夕べ少し行けましたので。好きになっちゃった。Starting. Starting? <laughs> this broom basically represents her love for Bell. Starting to fall? No, she's already fallen. あなたの思い人に言うこれもなどするはずが。Look at the walking tap tap. Oh。女神祭で Mm. It's polite. You, you guys seem to be really, you know, have something going on. So Sierra's gonna just take the upfront efforts, huh? I can respect that. She's not stealing him away. She's fully over the situation. But she isn't backing down. And she's gonna ask him out on a date, honestly. Mm -hmm. 
失敗しても幻滅されるかもしれない。仲直りもできないかもしれない。Unless we're gonna harm out. 聞いておこうと思って。Sir, I feel like you should ask permissions for Hestia, Lily, Haruhime. What other fucking girls do we have? Like, there's so many girls. <laughs> fucking Weenie. Weenie is not even here. <laughs> like, there's so many girls. There's so many of them just in a fucking line. I want to ask you to return to you. Fair game. Damn, Ryu. Thank you. That's fucked up. I don't know, but that, that's like Ryu submitting herself. I'll always be rooting for you. But it's like, it's not Seer's fault. She's being upfront about him, very honest. And she's making her intentions very clear. And it's Ryu's fault for not having the balls to just like monopolize Belle. Like, you should take what's yours. But if you're not going to do that, love is war, baby. Kaguya-sama. Seer's going to take her. Hi! Ima, Kimase. Eto, Dochira. Ooh, Freya faction? I don't remember. I don't really remember uh, people from the Freya faction too much. All I remember is there's like a super strong guy that is like the highest level adventurer, I think, in like this place. I think he's like level seven or some shit. He like squashed that super <laughs> fat, ugly girl back in season two. Remember? I remember that guy. And then I remember, uh, ugh, I need to look at more designs. I think there's a Shoda involved. No, that's for Ice. That's right. You're a legend here, man. <laughs> She's a hater. She, <laughs> She's she really hates him. She's not happy to be here. You know what? Based. You know, I'm tired of all these fucking girls in this show just folding for Belle. Oh, he's so cute and hot and pretty. Oh, he's, this is the pinnacle of manhood. Finally, one girl is stepping up to the plate and saying, Mid, fuck you. Overrated. How are all these dumb bitches falling for you? Based, I like her. <laughs> Damn, doesn't even give the letter to him. He just places it, drops it. My guess on why she hates Belle like this and says, if only you hadn't shown up, is because she probably loves Freya so much, but Freya will never show her any type of that same affection because of Belle. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Mendogotonio,パリ。それより、あの人。名前はヘルン。フレイヤ様の付き人です。上級冒険者でありながら存在でもあります。ホーン。あの、それよりって聞いたことフレイヤ様が命名を拒否したとか、あの子は誰にも
what else could the connection be? I don't know. Again, if I had more lore knowledge about Danmachi and how the whole, the mechanisms of the gods and goddesses, I could probably piece up a theory right now, but I'm ignorant to the show, my bad. Uh -oh. <laughs> Girls, you should know how this works by now. It's, it's in five seasons. You should know that your time is over and a new girl will replace you with every new season. Dude, how did Maze pass out? Dude, how did Maze actually pass out? Ooh, there it is, Valen, what's her face? The slur given to Ice, right? We haven't seen her in a long time. Did we just completely forgotten about her? I still feel like Ice is like the main girl of the show. But for whatever reason, we're doing a huge detour after kind of placing emphasis on her in the beginning. I think that Ice will make a comeback in the late game of when the story is about to complete and Ice will be like the main girl to have like relevancy and recency bias. But until then, I guess we're taking a long detour. <laughs> They call it ceasefire, bro. They're having war over this kid. Ceasefire. <laughs> this roleplay is amazing, bro. Lily's like on her one knee. My apologies, my liege. The ceasefire tactics did not work. Mm. Yeah. Question. Why? Maybe? So Farna is supposed to be like a crest on your back, right? Like Bell has like a crest on his back. I remember in season one, Dan like Hestia kind of just found this kid and that's how like you're introduced to the family and then you can do some stuff on that crest and like Levels, stats, skill, allocation, something like that. Hmm. Haruhime is so destroyed. She's kind. Very wholesome. Lurked in the shadows to go and show her my appreciation, my ass. You wanted to catch her in the fucking act, you stalker. <laughs> that's, that's, that's her default insult. When she hates a girl, it's what's her face. She just, it, she knows their name fully. She just like, what's her face just added at the end of a name just to insult them. Yeah, it's a post fix. Go on a date. Oh my god. Oh, this is what's happening at the tavern, huh? It's the girls getting changed. Like, not only is it like a huge event, it's literally like fertility goddesses, right? It's a goddess festival, but it's like harvest festival, but like fertility, right? What does that imply? Like, baby, meek and love, reproduction. Like, it is such an intimate event to be going on a date with. A friend. Just a friend, huh? What's gonna happen, bro? Imagine? Oh. You know what would have been diabolical? Hey, Ryu. Can you take this letter to Bell? And ask him out for me? Oh. 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 The NTR is too much. Poor Ryu, man. She has to hear all that and just walk away in silence. Yeah, that's the guy. Otar, the strongest adventurer. So Freya's castle, this is where she resides. It's like a top of Orario. Like, this is her mansion. Otar. Who 
does he have drama with? Does he have drama with the blacksmith guy? I'm, I, I, I forget the rivalries or the different relationships. Him and the blacksmith guy, do they have beef or not? I vaguely remember something like that during season 2. This guy's the strongest dude. I didn't know there was quadruplet shodas here. What the hell? Everyone has different eye color, okay? <laughs> elf? Chuni Elf? Here, hence we congregate now for a sanguine ovation that adorns the eve of our climactic battle. Okay, bro. Keep make sure that your other eye is sealed. This is way too chuny for me. So there's a white elf, there's a dark elf, and then there's Otaro, there's quadruplet, Shodas, Hegni. What does that mean, though? Our honorable patron, right? I was like, Sears said I sent a friend over to her, but what is the actual relationship? Nameless. つまり、割を<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> Bro, the Chuni, Hegden, Hegden or whatever, whatever he 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 Hegden, bro, he's just still talking. He doesn't care. Translated my ass. I'm just gonna keep yapping. <laughs> <laughs> Through the sacrifice of a rabbit, I think rabbit is Bell. The protracted chaos can be torn asunder through the sacrifice of a rabbit, Bell. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> And why does Freya have an obsession with Belle, other than him just being the main character? I think there was an obsession that started back in season 1. What did she say? And, and remember when she pushed, she slapped Aphrodite and she looked at her fall down? And then she looked at Belle and she said, probably like, I love you or something. I don't know. Something about Bell is like very unique. His powers. He's a very pure person. His growth is insane. All the above. I'm not sure. Maybe she wants to corrupt an innocent child. Who knows? So you can't talk normal. It's just a fucking character. What do you mean, bro? You were you had your composure good until you heard that Freya's gonna return to heaven along with Bell. Don't break character. Alright. The Freya family, they're pretty fun. He's probably the funnest. I like how, like, the, the light elf is, like, translating for the dark elf. The quadruplet, you know, shodas are all in sync. I think there's quadruplets of them, right? Otaru just, like, is the gigachet captain in the group, and you have Alan, who is just rambunctious, rebellious dude, but very competent and strong himself. <laughs> Yo, where did the other kid go? Was there not literally four of them? Am I crazy? Yeah, no, 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 no. There is four of them, right? There, there literally is four of them, but only three of them are kind of like doing their choreography together. Maybe this one is more special of the quadruplets. Maybe he's like the leader of the Shodas. I don't know. Now he's gone. Worst <laughs> Brother, she was literally making lunch for you every day. Come on. There has to be a limit to his denseness. Brother. 
違うさすがに考えててもしょうがないか行ってみよう That was like a force pull. That was not a physical grab. Someone like pulled. Elf. Blonde elf. <laughs> JC Staff does know. Oh, also, that's pretty funny. That's cute. That the hood has a little poking hole for the elf ears. I'm not sure if that's actually a good thing. It kind of shows your identity. But JC staff, you know, they do spread themselves thin by taking on many different projects. But Damachi is their flagship product. And this fight scene, the animation, the whole overall like production value of this episode, just like fantastic. This guy, he has like, I thought he would be some sort of mage, but maybe he has like a staff that's like half staff, half weapon melee range. <laughs> Yo, did we not literally say don't assassinate Bell or Freya's gonna go to heaven? Maybe he's just testing him. Maybe he's just upset that they're all Freya simps and they're like, why the fuck does it have to be you? So he's like letting his frustrations out. Bell got clapped. That dude is way stronger. Dude, we got power crept. Well, maybe we didn't get power crep because he always existed, but we just never really knew much about the Freya faction, right? Like, this dude is very strong. Bell? Argo Vesta this guy, bro. Argo Vesta him! Yes, sir. And now, he's gonna teach us how to do 10 reps of delivering flowers properly, right? Because in the trailers, he was like changing her. One leg, come on, proper form. You gotta deliver the bokeh of flowers properly. Like, I love that scene. That was like peak slice of life moments. Now, post credit scene, let's go. Are we doing it? No, not yet. Seer. What does that mean? Shackle's a goddess hood. Are you a goddess? Is Seer a secret goddess that we've never known about? Is Freya gonna be in there? Ooh. What is she, a fucking Pokemon gym master? Does she just do nothing? But just do this all day until someone enters the room? It's like, what does she do on a day to day basis? I wonder. In that form. In that form, Seer is a secret goddess. And it's not Freya in disguise. It's someone else. Hmm. Would Freya allow it? Of course she would, right? The resolve in her eyes, the determination. If I can come with? Truth. The truth. <gasps> no! I feel like Freya might do whatever it takes to leak the secret because she wants to monopolize Belle's love. I'm not sure. Okay. Oh my god, Freya. And that is today's episode of Damachi and what an amazing episode to come back from a long gap since season 1-4. It honestly wasn't even that long, but it was nice to kind of like have these little recap moments to explain the gist of what's been going on because we're now out of you know the deep dangers of the labyrinth and we're out and what's happening uh goddess harvest festival fertility goddess festival fun times these different like fertility goddess is gonna be in these shrines and they have to like stay there for like three days and it's like a whole festival of fun and good and seer is making her move whether or not Ryu likes it, of course she doesn't like it. Ryu is unable to make action, and it sucks for her, but that's on you, lady. Seer did not go behind your back to do all this shit. She confronted Belle and Ryu straightforward. I can really respect that. And one has to then wonder, why is this random tavern girl in Seer so important right now? Why does she have the grace of the Freya family? Well, Seer mentions like breaking the shackles of the goddess, which implies that she pretty much is a goddess. 
Witch goddess, a goddess that is closely associated with Freya. Maybe that's why they respect her so much and why Freya is even giving her an opportunity here. I'm not sure. It's looking like Freya is going to do... I'm not sure if she's going to get herself involved. But if she wants Belle to herself, this bet, I feel, is a bit rigged. And she might just, like, I don't know, ruin it all. But I don't mind because she's so hot. That's it. That's it for me. If you're still here and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.